those are called fillers that's a huge 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 red flag okay that's like the worst <laughs> because if the hair has fillers it's going to make you itch like crazy it's, it's going to break your face out have y'all ever had hair that broke your face out i have i have and now i know what i know i know why it was breaking my face out it had fillers so you do not want to deal with fillers you do not want to sell fillers because your customer is going to be pissed off at you okay hey you guys i'm jazz Anye. welcome to vendor series episode four this is the last episode and in all the episodes, we cover so much information. And I wanted to save this one for last because <laughs> this is stuff nobody ever talks about. And it's really important that you guys pay close attention to these flags, okay? This will tell you, like, right off the bat, don't go with these vendors. And it can just, it's like the process of elimination times 10. So thank me later, okay? Let's get right into this video. These are all things you should remember, have in the front of your mind when you are looking for a vendor. All right, so these, this one we see all the time. I mean, we see all the time. When vendors steal people pictures, they steal celebrity pictures, they steal YouTuber pitch, YouTubers pictures. If a vendor has stolen pictures, that's an automatic no. You want them to use their own pictures. You want them to take pictures of their hair on the floor, um, pinned up on a clothesline. Um, you could tell, have someone holding it up, but you do not want vendors who steal pictures. That's an automatic red flag, okay? If a vendor is advertising their hair as raw virgin hair, that's a red flag. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as raw virgin hair. Your hair is either raw or it's virgin. Which one? Not both. Like, it doesn't make sense. That's a red flag, okay? Raw or virgin. Either you process your hair or you don't. You can't do both, okay? So we talked about this in episode three. But a red flag is if a vendor only accept Money Union or Western Union as a Chinese vendor. Again, in certain countries, they're a little behind. Like India, Burma, they're a little behind. So you just have to take a chance. But if a Chinese vendor on AliExpress is telling you they don't accept PayPal, that's a red flag. Okay? That's a red flag. Also, this is a red flag. I wouldn't necessarily like completely cancel the vendor out or the company out if they do this but back to the pictures you want them to have their own pictures okay a red flag is if a vendor only has stock photos we all know what stock photos are we all know a lot of these companies are still in each other's pictures are still in each other's pictures scamming scamming so you don't want a lot of stock photos that's a red flag okay Oh my goodness. This one, you guys, is super duper important, okay? If you're on Alibaba or DHgate, if a company is selling hair, but then they're also selling like medical equipment and paint printers and all this other stuff, that's a no. You want hair to be their primary product. You want that to be all that they do. You want them to be the experts in the hair field, period. You don't want them to be selling hair and selling shoes and selling rice and beans. No, that's not a manufacturer. That's a dealer. And we're dealing with manufacturers, okay? So this video was filmed in 2019. Happy 2019. But I don't know what happened last year in 2018 where all these vendors discovered Instagram. But y'all know what I'm talking about. It's like, it was just like one day, all of a sudden, all these vendors, all these hair companies are on Instagram following people, right? I mean, just following people who don't even have nothing to do with the hair industry. <laughs> so they're following people, they're in their inbox. That's a flag. I would never, ever deal with a vendor that pops in my inbox. Because if they're popping in yours, 
They're popping in Sally's. They're popping in Billy Billy's. They're popping in everybody inbox. That's a flag. You don't want, you really want a vendor who sells wholesale. You don't want a vendor who's trying to sell their product too. How they going to take care of you if they're trying to make coin too off retail? That's a flag. A really, really, really red flag. I mean, this is a big one, okay? If a vendor, y'all already know, we covered that any grading scale is a, a, a marketing tactic. It's a marketing scheme in my red flags when ordering hair online video. So if a vendor is saying that their prices, if their prices vary on 12A, 6A hair instead of texture and color, that's a flag. You're going to almost always pay more for curly hair, for wavy hair because it's a prettier texture. It requires time and things like that. It's more rare when you're dealing with raw, with a raw company. Even with a virgin hair company, they charge more for curlier hair. That's how the prices should be going. That's how the prices should vary. You should not be paying more. They should not be pricing you based on 6A, 8A hair that doesn't even exist. I don't care what no one says. It doesn't exist. Okay? It's not. It's a marketing scheme. So this is something to pay super duper close attention to. This is why you want to see real pictures and real videos. So if you notice that the hair has orange or brown strands in it or it has like plastic strands, not gray hair. We're not talking about gray hair. We're talking about different color strands. Those are called fillers. That's a huge, 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 huge red flag, okay? That's like the worst. <laughs> because if the hair has fillers, it could, it could be filled with anything. It could be filled with other hair. It could be filled with synthetic fibers. It's going to make you itch like crazy. It's, it's going to break your face out. Have y'all ever had hair that broke your face out? I have, I have, and now I know what I know. I know why it was breaking my face out. It had fillers. So you do not want to deal with fillers. You do not want to sell fillers because your customer is going to be pissed off at you. Okay. All right. Last but not least, you guys, I see a lot of companies doing this. I'm in this hair extension group on Facebook. It's really, really helpful. I love it. But I see a lot of people post that vendors would try to reel them in by saying, oh, we sell hair to so-and-so, you know, oh, we sell hair. This is, you know, we're their vendor or we're Kendra's Boutique vendor or we're D Hair Boutique vendor or we're Yummy Extensions vendor or whatever, you know, if a company will do that. So they are can't like you need to cancel them because there's no loyalty. First of all, that's a horrible business practice. Period. They should have some confidentiality with their with their client with their customer. So if they're putting them out there, they're gonna do the same thing to you. So that is a red flag. Don't be so, you know. Don't be like, oh my gosh, this is their vendor. I'm gonna sell their hair. You should you should be focusing on your own business. And finding a product that markets that fits your market, not that not that company's market. You don't want to deal with a company who has no loyalty to their customers. That's just off tops, okay? So please keep all these things in mind, you guys, when you're searching for a vendor. If they do that, be like, uh-uh, nope, 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 nope. Just keep it in mind because people are really getting scammed out here, like left to right, and it'd it be over the it'd be over like obvious things i'll be like how did you not know that like look look at it look what they're saying <laughs> but people don't know but when you know better you do better so y'all know better now you have no excuse but that's it for this series you guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned so much information if you guys miss one through three episode one through three i'm gonna leave the link in the description box and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys want more information videos let me know what do you need to know if i know it i'm gonna help you if i don't know it i'm gonna go learn it so i can help you anyway thank you guys for tuning in i'm jazz and that's it for this video
Oh, <laughs> 